Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Henry Weingarten from the Astrologers Fund. How are you today, Henry? We're, we're having a good day, thank you very much. Markets are being very kind. Uh, kind in some ways to us. Well, not in, a, not in all ways. I think you selected, I said after our last interview, I said, why don't you just take a look at our charts about when we should do an interview next. You picked today. And so let's start with today. What is so exciting about today? Today and tomorrow are trader diaper days. Those are the times you could not leave the market even for 10 seconds. Uh, as you know, we're way up on the vaccine news of Moderna. And this is sort of the end of the good news for uh, vaccine. Anything else is only going to be negative from here on. So that only leaves two things for markets to be up. One is a stimulus, which may or may not come, and then end of the year bonuses. So we're sh short. Or actually, we, we played some early shorts already, but we're going to be short for tomorrow. May or may not be, but it's a good risk reward that a market tops in and it could last for two weeks. Um, we today also got our copper target of 325, rather happy. We're, as traders, we're out, although if you own copper stocks, you should stick with them. And then we even said it would go to 318, which it did. Now it's a 323 as we're talking. So we're having a little fun on trading there. Gold's doing well, as, but that's a no-brainer. We're at 1888. We came in at 1855, 1875. And we think at, it's a 95% chance the bottom is in. Maybe we get to 1849, but I don't even think so. I think we're on our way to 2000 by year end. So that's doing very well. Uh, the one that's disturbing us is our major forecast, which was 85% certainty that Trump would win. And uh, we're still not giving up on it. I must admit it doesn't look as good as it did uh, when we made the forecast a month ago. But we knew it would be very hairy. It would be very close. And the interesting thing is tomorrow there may be some news. And December 10th, which is when the electors are supposed to come in. Trump has an extremely powerful horoscope. Doesn't mean it's going to change things, but I would not give up. And if you notice, the betting sites are not willing to give money yet to the Biden people because they might have to switch it. So there, there could be a very big switch there uh, due to what we consider and many consider to be frauds, which may or may not be proven, but there are a lot of Americans who believe it. Well, Henry, as always, it's a pleasure to get your insights into the market. And let me see if I heard that correct. You said today and tomorrow are uh, trader or broker diaper, diaper days. days. Trader diaper days. Right. No, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't even leave the floor for one minute because you can go away and see the market totally change. Okay. So I also want to make sure that I understand properly. You're saying if you have copper, hold on to it. Is that correct? Yes. yes. If you're an investor, yes. If you're a trader, who came in last year, the 325 is like the 310 level. So we could get down to even 315 again, then you can buy it again if you're trading it. It's the target we were looking for. So we've got it, made a lot of money on it. And one thing we do is we don't mind getting out early as long as we make a profit. And speaking of making a profit and getting out early, I've had numerous experts tell me different percentages over the years. What is a profit by your standards? 10%, 15, 20, 35? What are we looking at, Henry? Well, we're futures traders. So we get better. In futures, you get magnified. You can get 50%. Okay, so you kind of make that call as you do it. Just asking, thought I would clarify that for some of our well, listeners. Let me give an example of, course. of what we talked about last time. Uh, one of the companies we like a lot is Piedmont Lithium, and we've been in and out of it a lot and recommended it. You know, as low as four, but it was basically sitting at around 11, went up to 55. You had to be crazy not to take 33 or better. And if you wanted to, you could come back in at 22. That's like 300%. I mean, if you get two, three hundred percent, you've got to take something off the table. Well, I received a an email this morning from uh, a mutual associate, Christopher Ecclestone, that was oh, he's a great guy putting initiation of a new tin uh, company. Uh, tin, what is that on your forecast right now? No, I'm afraid I don't know it. He's he's from England. He knows about that stuff because they still mine tin in the in Great Britain. Uh, it's nothing I know about, but I will. Say, Chris is an excellent uh, analyst, and if he says it's good, it's probably good. So then next I'm going to flip you to gold. Gold, yes, where are we, we like at that. with gold? Do we are holding right through Christmas, or Absolutely. are we watching yeah. and flipping and trading? What's going on, Henry? No, you, there's no reason. I mean, you can day trade if you want, but there's no reason to sell it before 2040 again. 
and there's no reason to sell it, uh, if, especially if we're right around January 10th, because January 11th, which is the elect, January 5th, you've got our Georgia uh, two senators being run. January 10th, you have an election. There could be some violence there. So you certainly want to hold it, generally speaking, into the Chinese New Year, but certainly into our New Year. But if you get to 2040, you know, you can take some profits or 2000, but there's no rush because it's it can go higher, especially if Biden is president. It will definitely go higher. Well, I'll tell you what. What I would really like, Henry, is for you to come on every two weeks, if possible, because your your news is so fluid. And speaking of news, let me just go run through a couple of the highlighting critical materials quickly. Uranium. What is going to happen with uranium? I, 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 I love uranium, Henry. Make me happy here. But, but you, I can't because I'm an SRI investor, and I think it's... A, a terrorist wet dream, so I can't, we don't deal with it. I'm sorry. You don't deal with uranium. Okay, good. So we'll take that off the list for future questions. But let, let me ask you about rare earths then, because there's a lot of, I mean, some people could argue that uh, global power is held by those who have the control of some of the biggest magnetic materials in the world, like neodymium and presidium. So talk to me about those metals, if you can. I think those are very good long-term investments, but I do think uh, you have to, I mean, they got a, obviously the boost uh, from the U.S. Uh, critical information and, and also from Canada. So definitely over the next two, three years, they're going to be very good investments. I don't think they're going to run up the same way gold or silver or oil is going to go quickly. But if you're a longer term investor, they're good, obviously good places to be. No question about it. We're going to be doing, uh, Matt Bolson and I are doing a review of some of the top EV stocks, including some of the new rising stars in lithium. You brought up Piedmont Lithium. So obviously you're kind of hot on lithium presently too. Am I we putting are, words in your mouth? Yes and no. We like it. But again, it's 2021 to 2022 when they actually have big demand. But we do like um, lots of companies. We like Lake. Uh, we like Standard. We're taking a look now at uh, Neolithium. We think it's a very good long-term investment, but it's going to be slower than other things in the next two, three months. It depends if we're talking about trading or investing. As trades, it's not the hottest thing, but as investments long-term, yeah, it's definitely going up. Demand's definitely going up. Um, just like Helium went up, you know, those stocks went up about 500%. So um, they're good investments. No question about it. One last question. And then again, I want to just have you on more regularly, Henry, so we can sure. get some updates and so we can follow some okay. of these stories like neolithium, for instance. So let me just ask you, palladium. Jack Lipton and I were having a debate about palladium. Of course, the numbers are through the roof for palladium spot prices. Any ideas yeah. on and if that's going to go away or what are your thoughts on that? No, the problem is this, because it's so dependent on USSR, so dependent on South Africa, neither of which we have firsthand knowledge, we sort of stay away from that market. It's not that they're not good, but we don't have any expertise. We try to be in the places where we know we're safe, that we're rarely wrong, sometimes wrong, but rarely wrong, and when therefore we make money more often than not. So we don't know it, and when we don't know, we don't talk. Oh, but we do think Jack's a very knowledgeable person, and I would listen to him. Fantastic. So let me ask you that. What do you feel comfortable with right now? What do you think is hot? One last tip for the day, and thank you, Henry, for sure. joining us. Well, besides gold, uh, oil is going back to 45, uh, but it's going to come down again. We can get it at 38. We, you know, we had our trades from 35 and 36 to like 40. Now we're going to, if it gets back to 38, buy it because it will be 45 by mid next year. But those things sometimes happen in a few days. So look at oil. They're going to do well with the issues with um, COVID. It may come down again, uh, but basically it will do well. Gold is a no brainer. Uh, silver at certain points, although it's an economic metal, so therefore it goes back and forth, are, are the clearest uh, places to be. And Again, Henry, thank you so much for joining us. And just before we leave, can you remind me of which day uh, we should anticipate Trump having a strong, uh, strong, well, what is that, signal? December what? 10th is one. He's got a good December chart. 10th, but possibly, <laughs> December 10th, but possibly tomorrow, which is why I chose today. Thank you so much, Henry. As always, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you in two weeks.